those things that, you know, you brought it home, make use of it. It's been kicking around. I like how it has the two tones, so I got this. Figuring that I would paint something on it. You can make frames like this, but why make it when you can get it for $3? Look how nice that is. Cool, I like that dark stained wood on the outside and then the white in the center. So let's think, hmm, given the shape of this, we need something that is obviously we can paint tall. Definitely a balancing act. Maybe I can even put my crow navy. Let me grab some. All right, I grabbed this blue. Let me see if I like this blue. to paint our little stem up here. Maybe we'll add a little yellow because this is fall, so this is a fall scene, so a little bit of yellow, kind of like hay. Do you know the straw colors that we see in fall? Just going to add a few in here. I think the yellow looks good too on the, uh, probably on our crow. What do you think? Oh, I like that. I'm gonna make that little green vibe right there. More green. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's pretty. I'm into that. And now let's go ahead and give a, maybe like a sky around the background. We could leave it white if we wanted to. 
If I do a little glue, I can probably cut into my pumpkins a little more. We will add lots of white. All right, so it is possible that I might just leave this. Like I'm very happy with this right now. So I might walk away, come back once it's all dried and um, add a few other details. I am thinking about doing maybe like a splatter with my brush over the top of it. What do you guys think? What do you think of that? Um, so I'm kind of debating doing that, which I'm, the more I think about it, the more I think I want to. Let me get a brush. Okay, so when you do the splatter, you can use like a toothbrush if you wanna do that. I just went and grabbed the closest brush to me. And um, the other thing is you can cover something, like if I didn't want the splatters to get on the crow or the pumpkins and I just wanted on my background or whatever, just um, cover those areas like you would let this dry and then cover those areas with a cloth or something like that so the splatters wouldn't get to them. But you know what, I am gonna go all in. So I'm just gonna get my brush wet here put it into my black paint over here let me just do a test right here off to the side and see if we like that oh yeah we like that okay you can knock some off to the side if you don't want it to be too big smaller taps oh that's kind of cool all right that might be it like I don't want too much, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I got some down here and up here. I'm just gonna let that set up and it just continues to give me like that shabby look that I love. We ain't going for perfect. It is perfect in its own way, but I love the fact that, you know, the colors just all blend into each other and the crow is not absolutely perfect, but you know it's a crow sitting on there and the pumpkins, you know? And these could be a purple pumpkin. It's okay, in your world, paint a purple pumpkin. All right, guys, I am going to walk away. You never want to overwork your painting. And yeah, I'll probably go get a cup of tea, come back, circle around here. And a little later today, come back in. I might add a little more white in here and kind of lighten up a few little parts. But I don't want to muddy down my painting. So know when to walk away and let it dry. And then you can come back and take a look. And of course, don't forget to sign it. But cool, new fall piece. Hello, are you decorating for fall yet? Are you thinking about that? Let me know below. All right, friends, have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.